Hey guys, if you like this content, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys liked the video and subscribed to my channel. It helps uh, make these videos worth it going forward. Hey guys, Alcoin Sherpa here with a crypto market review. As always, this is not financial advice. I am not an expert doing research. Okay, so let's look at BTC. This is a bullish chart in the mid uh, short term, in my opinion. Uh, I've always really thought and people that watch my videos before, uh, you guys probably saw that uh, I was very adamant about these overall lows holding on high 10 frame charts around 28K. And I still felt that price was going to go to 50,000 before anything else. Now, with that said, uh, price could still go to like $20,000 after it hits this $50,000 uh, area. But I was going to be pretty surprised if um, price was going to go straight to 20k from these lows. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for that, but the biggest one is just that a lot of people got liquidated on this big move down. Higher liquidity uh, is, or there's a more liquidity up here. Now you can see this $50,000 area is like a SR level. It's a demand or it's a uh, supply zone. It's high volume uh, node, as you can see on this volume profile uh, indicator. So. This is really kind of the area to watch, in my opinion, and this is like kind of the area that I'm watching myself, and I don't really know what's going to happen after this uh, area is tapped. Price is slowly grinding up, which means it's really good for altcoins. Uh, when price rockets up or rockets down, uh, you'll see that altcoins usually suffer, especially in alt BTC pairs, but right now we're seeing alt USD pairs uh, do pretty well and in all BT spheres as well because of the slow kind of grinding price action. But uh, I do believe that the danger zone is coming around 50,000. Um, because of how long price consolidated in this area, it could even go even higher up to like 55,000 or so. I think it's unlikely that price goes up above all time high levels. I just don't see it happening from here. Uh, eventually, sure, sure. But I think it's more likely that price kind of goes up to like, you know, 50 whatever comes grinds down to like, you know, maybe mid thirties. And then we kind of just chop around for the next few, uh, next few months or weeks. I, I could see something like this, like, you know, higher lows. Um, that's kind of like what I'm expecting in my opinion. Uh, that's kind of my overall plan. I think that the overall macro lows are probably in, but again, I'm not really positive quite yet. Uh, still like kind of, I, I really want to see what is going to happen at 50 K. So that's kind of my overall outlook on this. Like 50,000 is the area to watch. Um, I do think there will be a pullback around that area. I will be going more risk off uh, with a lot of my altcoins when it comes to this area. And I do think that a lot of altcoins will be facing some significant resistance areas uh, as price continues to grind up. So let's look at ETH USD here. Uh, ETH USD, uh, similarly to Bitcoin, uh, I felt that this was going to go to like 50, uh, I'm sorry, 3,500 or so. And that that's with, uh, that's congruent with Bitcoin going to 50,000. So I think that something like this is like pretty likely, you know, high 3,000s, high to mid 3,000s for uh, Ethereum. And I think that there will be uh, like pretty good, supply zone all throughout this top end around 4,000. And then also this current area too is also a supply zone. So in other words, like this entire area seems like kind of dangerous area to long. I personally would not long myself. I would look to see the reaction uh, around, you know, mid three Ks to uh, 4,000. But it's again, it's really going to depend on Bitcoin as always. Uh, this chart looks okay, but I do think that there's a high probability that this there will be like a pretty good shorting opportunity up near the 4,000s. Don't know where it will be. Um, and from there, again, similar to Bitcoin, I have no idea. Like, I, I, I'm not sure. Um, so ETH BTC, uh, I think the overall it still looks like a good chart. I mean, as I've said the last several weeks too, like this is still like a macro uh, bullish chart for ETH BTC. Uh, you can see like this higher low is being formed right now. Still like lower highs too, but um, it, it still wouldn't surprise me if 055 is tapped again. Like that's certainly a possibility. Um, but this is still like a bullish context. Uh, in my opinion, it's still like a bullish market structure. 
uh, we're still seeing kind of like these higher lows. Uh, well, we could have actually maybe seen like a breaking mark structure recently too. It, it really depends on what you denote as a high. So if you denote this as a high, which certainly looks like a high in my opinion, uh, and then you denote this recent move as kind of like a low. Well, okay, you can also call this a high too. I, I, I don't really call this a high myself, but I mean, regardless if you call either one of those a high, this recent move up has been a higher high. Um, and you could maybe denote this right here as a low set back in late June. And then you can denote this as a kind of a higher low area uh, all throughout late July. Now, again, it it's very subjective on what you want to call a high and a low. Um, like really, as I said, like, you know, I mean, the market is subjective in general, especially the way these that we chart, like us retail plebs. But, uh, you know, I think that Overall, on high time frame charts, ETH BTC still looks pretty good. Uh, I think it's likely that this continues higher. Don't know when it will. Like, it's still, I'm still expecting a lot more chop, to be frank and honest with you. It would make sense that this consolidates for uh, another few weeks and we stay within this range of 083 and then 055. Like, it's still just chop around and then we make like a big move up in the, uh, in the winter. I think that that seems pretty likely. That's kind of like the uh, scenario that I'm viewing. Uh, let's just look briefly at some popular altcoins. I'm going to look at Matic and then Dogecoin. Uh, the Matic network has a nice move today. Uh, you know, it was just consolidating before and like I didn't really think it was an active trade. Uh, right now, it finally broke through this resistance area. So we're seeing, we saw this area right here as resistance. All throughout this range, I mean, it couldn't break through. And it looks like consolidation before breaking down. And then now again, it's, it came back up to the range, consolidated, and now it's, it's breaking through. But uh, I didn't take a trade like this because I was a little bit unclear as to where my stop was. I mean, I, I could have used below a dollar. That was like a pretty clean move. Um, but I think that a safer trade right now is just to wait for the retest around a dollar and then and then kind of go up. But this is kind of like a like high volume uh, trading area around from $1 to 175. So it wouldn't surprise me to see more chop around this kind of uh, this area. That's kind of what I'm expecting for Matic. Um, wouldn't really buy here myself. I mean, this is like, you can consult, call this a supply zone, call it resistance, high volume node right here as seen with 140, but um, something like 120 could be an interesting buy. One scenario that I'm really viewing actually, and I posted this chart in other, um, so this is kind of like what I'm expecting actually for a lot of altcoins. This is SNX USD. And if you can see back, this is uh, back in 2020. Uh, this was after decentralized finance and altcoins all started to die off. And this was actually happening while Bitcoin was going up, which is usually not it usually doesn't happen. Usually alt USD goes up as Bitcoin goes up, but this was just pulling back huge. And what we're seeing, what we saw back in 2020, late 2020 was kind of this V shaped reversal where things started to pop off in late November. And it went from uh, 250 all the way up to fives, fifties or so. So it doubled and then it consolidated for a few months uh, more and then it just took off. So, a lot of coins have this type of structure right now that I'm, and I'm still viewing this right now as like a potential scenario for a lot of altcoins. And what we could see right here is kind of like this V-shaped reversal that we saw. Um, and then now we're just going to see like more chop. Now it did, it did come back down like pretty far, but uh, I would like to see like a higher high formed for a coin like SNX. And I'm trying to think of the coin that it was. I think it was DOT. Let me take a look here. Yeah, okay, so DOT is, this is like this scenario that I'm viewing for SNX. So like, like similar to SNX back in 2020, this makes a V-shaped reversal, comes back down, consolidates for like a few uh, weeks, and then it, it moons. That would be like the scenario. So this is DOT right now. And this so far looks kind of like a V-shaped reversal. I mean, we just see like nothing but green uh, come up all the way from the bottom around $10. It's doubled since then, and it wouldn't surprise me at all to see this go even higher up to like 30. And then uh, we see like 
pretty big pullback and then like chop and then one more move up. So that's kind of my overall scenario for alts, uh, many altcoins that have this kind of, kind of uh, structure. And um, yeah, that's kind of like, I still think that things will look pretty good in Q4. So those are kind of my thoughts right now. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you for watching.